Hi everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believe After and welcome to another video. Now you guys, today as you would have seen from my thumbnail is the reveal video for the book club that I'm hosting with my very good friend Caroline over at For the Love of Crochet, hooking up with books. Now for those of you that's new, that's recently joined the channel, you're not sure what hooking up with books is all about, it's a yarn related book club. So what we do is every two months we read or we decide on a specific book and then we make a project based on some or other inspiration that we find from the book. It can be using the colors that's on the front cover of the book. It can be a specific uh, character from the book, a specific theme from the book. In many cases our books have got um, movie or TV series adaptations. So if you don't feel like reading the book, you can always watch the movie or watch the TV series and make something based on that. So it's a fun project that we've had now going on for more than a year. I think we're close to probably two years um, with the book club, or we definitely in our second year uh, of it. It's a fun, fun community project. A lot of you guys have joined in over the months. It's always fun to see the projects that get submitted to myself and Caroline. The projects that you make based on whatever it is that you found as inspiration in the book. Now the book which just recently finished has been The Flat Shea, which has just been a very, very easy read. It's like a relaxing story. Um, it's like one of those feel-good almost sort of love stories. You know, it's not anything stressful. It's just a very relaxing read. It's almost something that if you picture yourself like sitting on the beach during the summer holidays, this is the type of book you would read. Like relaxing, um, having a little view of the ocean. You know, I get those vibes from this book. Just very relaxing. Now, I did uh, listen to the audiobook. I like audiobooks these days because it allows me to, while I listen to a book, um, to also crochet uh, at the same time. So my time is very limited these days. So being able to do two things at the same time is definitely a bonus. And I really, I've really been enjoying audiobooks lately. Uh, so I did enjoy the book, as I say, a very relaxing uh, story. Um, now the project that I made for this book, um, the first thing that caught my attention was the food theme. Strangely, uh, <laughs> not the crochet theme because a lot of the book re revolves around uh, sort of crochet. Our main character Tiffy, she uh, works for an editing firm and her clients uh, do a lot of DIY type of books. So one of her uh, authors that she works with uh, is busy writing a crochet book. So there's a lot of crochet in the book. Um, but what caught my eye was the baking part of the book. So Tiffy, the main female character, she is a bit of an emotional um, baker. And uh, I won't give away too much of the story if you haven't finished it or you haven't read it yet. But um, Tiffy is the main female character. Leon is the main male character and they share a flat. Hence the name, the flat share. But they don't share it at the same time. So Tiffy has the apartment in the evenings. Leon has the apartment in the day. And they actually don't meet at all until very, very, very late in the book. Um, so they communicate basically through little post-it notes or sticky notes. And this note exchange started when Tiffy baked a plate of pancakes and she left a note for Leon, for Leon to help himself to this plate of pancakes. So that was the first thing that really stood out to me was the pancakes and how the little message exchange started out. So I had to make something based on pancakes and I found an adorable pattern, which is this one. So this is my project for hooking up with books this month. A cute little bear that is sitting on a stack of pancakes. Just look at that yummy chocolate syrup dripping there off the side. And he's holding a cute little strawberry. So this was such an adorable pattern. It's actually a pattern pack that I bought. So it contains this little bear on top of a stack of pancakes. Then it's the same little bear that is in a little uh, takeaway latte cup 
Well, I think it's called a latte bear. So he's inside a coffee cup. And then a third bear that sits next to a little tea cup. Very, very cute pattern. I will link it down below. Um, I really enjoyed working this pattern up. It's really, really quick to make. Very small, cute little bear um, that I will probably use for future projects because he worked up really quickly. Teeny tiny little bear. Um, I made this again using my favorite, favorite cotton, which is Hobby Rainbow Cotton 8.6. It's a sport weight yarn and I used a 2.5 millimeter hook. So this pattern whipped up really, really quickly. And there you have it. So a food related theme that stood out to me in this book, the start of sort of the, uh, the flat share relationship between Tiffy and Leon, the pancakes uh, that she baked. All right, you guys, so that was it for this um, episode, <laughs> this month's book, or the last two months' book, The Flat Share. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you took part, I know I've received quite a few projects. I'm sure Caroline also received a few projects. And I will do a little slideshow, as I always do at the end of the video. The next book we'll be doing, starting from today, the 15th of May, up until the 15th of July, so for the next two months, will be the Marsh King's Daughter. So if you want to join in, you are welcome to at your own pace read the book and then whatever element catches your eye or piques your interest, just crochet some or other project. It doesn't have to be omigurumi. It can be anything crochet or yarn related. Um, and then send myself and Caroline the photo that we will then show in our reveal video on the 15th of July. All right, friends, that's been it for this week. Uh, I always enjoy the book club. Um, it's fun to see the projects that you guys submit, the different elements that we all pull from the very same book. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy the little slideshow of all the projects that were submitted to me for the flat share. And until I see you in the very next video, as always, friends, stay safe and stay crafty.